I am a little bit like Judas. Yes, the Judas who betrayed Jesus. And I think that you are too. How so? Because from time to time, I reject God's good love for me. And to reject God's good love and to prioritize self over love of God and over love of others is to betray God. But the good news in today's gospel is that God never ever gives up loving us. God never gives up trying to reach us. Let's revisit today's gospel lesson. The scene is the Last Supper, the Passover feast, an important holiday. Jesus is troubled. He is saddened, melancholic, but not angry. Jesus knows it will be his Last Supper with his friends, his disciples. He says, one of you will betray me. Put yourself into that scene. Shock, disbelief, self-doubt. Who could it be? Could it be me? Simon Peter leans into the beloved disciple and eggs him on. Ask Jesus, find out who it is. Jesus gets back at him and says, the one who I give this piece of bread to will betray me. And he gives the piece of bread to Judas and tells Judas, do your deed quickly. Do what you're going to do. And with that, Judas slips into the night. There's a beginning to that story. Before Judas became the betrayer, he was entrusted. We see Judas only in hindsight, and hindsight, as we know, is 2020. Judas, the betrayer, the unredeemable, is the Judas we know. But there was another Judas. There was the Judas that Jesus called as a disciple. There's the Judas that chose to follow Jesus. How did Judas feel when he was called? What were his dreams, his aspirations, his hopes? What excited Judas about Jesus? What promise did he see in following this rabbi? What were Judas's gifts? And what did Jesus see in Judas? Jesus knew that Judas would betray him right from the outset. Yet he called and trusted Judas. He picked him as one of the twelve disciples out of thousands in Galilee. Judas Iscariot was one of the ones chosen. And he was chosen because Jesus loved Judas Iscariot and he wanted to gain his love in return. We see that in the Gospel. Jesus never expels Judas. Jesus never calls out Judas. Jesus never humiliates Judas. No, Jesus feeds Judas right up to the end. He gives him a piece of bread. He doesn't point a finger. He gives him a piece of bread and he loves him to the end. So what went wrong? I think if we go back to the Sermon on the Mount, one line is key. Thy will be done. Thy will be done, the famous line from the Lord's Prayer. Judas did not do God's will. Judas substituted his will for the will of God. Judas betrayed Jesus because he chose himself instead of loving God, loving Jesus, and loving other humans. In other words, he was selfish. He wanted his own path, and with that he pushed away God's hand, Jesus' offer of bread, the bread of life and light. It's heartbreaking, Judas being so close to God and yet so far. But there is good news for us. When we are out of sync with God, 
when we do not love God with our whole heart, when we choose our own way over God's way. The story of Judas powerfully illustrates that. God will never exclude us. God will never humiliate us. God will never condemn us. God will always try to reach us. God will always love us. Just remember that even Judas got to sit at the Lord's table. I think there's tremendous comfort in that.